So we're going to do the third of these 12 by 12 wooden uh, wooden panels. It is Art Alternatives 12 by 12 wooden panel with a one and a half inch profile. I got a three pack for Christmas. So I'm going to use that to show you three flip cups with the same color scheme. Three different one I coated the canvas first, the second one I didn't coat the canvas first. This one I'm also not going to coat the canvas, but I'm going to um, remove the black because the black sort of was overwhelming in the past two. So we're going to try the same color scheme without black. That would be white, burnt sienna, phthalo blue, and teal. All right, third painting. Third painting. White first, then phthalo blue. I think I'll do white between all the layers. And so white again. Titanium white. All of my paints are golden brand paints. Teal. White. Ooh, that was too fast. Burnt Sienna, and white. Okay, that's our flip cup. I forgot to wash my flip cup. I mean, my flipper. We'll just use the back side. All right, you ready? Here we go. Flip. That phthalo blue always looks like it's going to be the one that's overwhelming, but it hasn't been. Curious. Wow. Ooh. A lot of white that time. So I know that's not standard procedure to swipe out the corners, but it's just my current experimental technique and I'm liking what it's doing so far. Then I don't have to fight it so bad. All right. Let's tilt it towards that a little bit. Gosh. I think I'm going to try to swipe off some of that white. That's overwhelming. I keep using that word, but how strange that the white is what is overwhelming this time. I'm just going to use this. Hey, that's cool. And then I lost a little bit too much paint right there, so I will tilt it back this way. sides and let that develop.
Hmm. I seem to have a downhill slant because it's all flowing off this side, so I'm going to try to tilt that up a little, see if it'll go the other way. What else could I put under there? Maybe this. Now maybe it'll flow back to the side. Wow, that's turning into a pretty pastelish color. Alright, I think I've got the sides coated. And it's pretty. I like it. It's very soft, but I feel that as it dries, the darker colors will really strengthen some, get a little more saturated. It's crazy how taking out that black really changed the way the whole thing behaved. I love how the blue is popping up through the brown there. That's nice. All right, let's look at it up close. See, I love those blues in the middle of the brown. It's nice. And that's a nice back and forth with the swipe between the blue and the brown. Neither one really has control. It's just a good mixture of both of them. And then we've got a nice more saturated blue over here for emphasis and over here. Isn't that crazy though? The, the phthalo blue was so strong when I first flipped the cup and it just sunk to the bottom, I guess. But it's around the edge, which makes a nice accent and starting to peek through in some of those cells. Cool. Three very different paintings with essentially the same color scheme. I bet you they'll look really nice together as a series. I think I might, well, we'll see. Maybe they'll be sold together as a series. Let's do a roundabout view so you can see all the angles. Sorry about the glare. Yay! Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. Click the bell icon in order to get more notifications. And don't forget to check out my paintings and my merch like this shirt on seaholesharart.com. Bye.